Hello everybody, welcome back to another video here today. So, for some of you that have watched me for a long time, you know that Grixis Delver was one of the decks that I really first started out with, and it, you know, really did me well um, for a very long time. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, Grixis Shadow really, really overtook it in the meta. Death Shadow in general um, became a much more hyper-efficient threat than Delver of Secrets, and it really pushed Delver out of the meta. And so a lot of people were wondering, like, why am I playing Delver when I could just be playing a bunch of Thought Seizes and a one mana 8-8 eight, eight or 10-10, ten, ten, you know? Um, and so the question became, is Delver even even good right now? Is, is, is there any reason to play Delver over Death Shadow? And that's what we're going to try to figure out today. Um, because I know a lot of people have sidelined their Delver decks um, during this, this Grixis Shadow winner. I mean, not, not to say that the deck is, like, as, as, as horrible as Eldrazi winner, but my point is that um, it's basically the most efficient threat, and it, it is pushing out, you know, a threat like Delver of Secrets, which is, you know, was a very hyper-efficient threat, and now we have something far far more efficient and powerful than it um, in the right shell. So the question is, is there any reason to be playing Delver of Secrets over Death Shadow? Um, so like I said, that's what we're going to try to figure out today. We're, we're going to do our usual um, modern competitive league, but let, let's talk about the deck list just a little bit. Um, basically... We are going to try to, of course, jam our uh, turn one threat, or dig for it, or, or, or power out our Delve threats. I mean, that's uh, if you haven't seen Grixis Delver ever before, that's basically the gist of it. Um, it's, it's going to try to have these very powerful threats uh, backed up by a lot of counter magic. Um, and so the rest of the deck basically is... The, the, the major flex spots are going to be what counter spells you choose and what removal spells you choose. Because there, there's a serious core to the deck in terms of the Thought Scour, Serum Visions, Delver, Snapcaster Mage, Tassiger, Gurmag Angler, and even Kologon's Command is a, is a fixed two of, sometimes three of, in, in Grixis Delver. So that's, that's basically the wiggle room you have to figure out what it is you want to do. Um, but uh, for me, what, what I chose um, right now is to have the full set of four, four Fatal Push. Versus, say, like a 3-3 three, three split or a 3-2 split with Terminate. I think removal is really good right now, especially when, when Death Shadow has a lot of recursive capabilities. Um, it's just important to kill them efficiently um, with, and minimize the life, uh, the, the damage you take over time. And then hopefully you can counter their Liliana the Last Hopes or counter the Kologon's command. Uh, that way they don't recur those cards consistently. Um... Aside from that, I mean, set of bolts is in incredibly important. Uh, there's a lot of decks that, that used to play bolt and are now cutting maybe to two, three copies. I think for a deck like Delver that 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 ma that you know maximizes its aggressiveness, it's it wants to close out the game as fast as possible, even though it can play the long game. So having a fourth set of bolts is that that late game reach is very very important. Um, it's also just one of the best removal spells turn one, um, coupled with fatal push. Uh, so there's there's going to be very little times where you have nothing to do on turn one or two, um, because basically it's all bottom end, tiny tiny bit of top end, and that's not even like, not even really top end. Kologon's command, snap Kologon's command is really the most, you know, intensive play the deck can produce. Um, we're going twenty lands today versus nineteen. I just really don't want to get mana screwed. Really, I want to be able to play my spells, maximize the um, the amount of plays that I can. I just I don't want to get screwed over by that. Um, another card I wanted to test out. I'm not sure if it's worth it or if it's even better than Remand. Sensor is a new card that came out. I'm not going to test it today. Um, I may test it in the future, um, but I, I think Sensor is a really cool cool card that uh, deserves some some playing around with. Um, I tested it in Just Guys to Heal a bit, and actually it was it was pretty good. It was you know a counter spell when I needed it, and it drew me a card when I didn't. Now uh, in Sahil, you already play four copies of Remand. Um, so, uh, it kind of just complements it, but I'm not sure I would play it in Delver over Remand. Um, so that's that. Let's take a look at the sideboard here we have. Um, so, basically, some of the biggest decks right now are going to be Eldrazi Tron, or Tron, or even Bant Eldrazi. Um, so basically our package for that is going to be Molten Rains, Terminates, basically keep them off of their fast mana, and be able to kill their big creatures all at the same time. Um, so that's going to be our game plan for that. Uh, Dredge has seen a resurgence. 
Uh, so I'm going for two spell bombs, one relic. I'm not actually sure which one it, you know is better. I just like that they're both turn one plays. Um, I've been, and this even works against Death Shadow. Like I've been thought seized more times than I can even uh, uh, describe on on turn two, where I've gotten my hate card, turn two hate cards taken away. That's more relevant in Rest in Peace. Uh, but I still want to be able to just on the play or on the draw just jam my turn one graveyard hate and go from there. Uh, the fact that you don't have to pay one mana for Nile Spellbomb is really nice. And although Surgical uh, is a fine uh, alternative, I do find that Surgical just you know gets one you know one, one piece, and a lot of the times you really want to exile the entire graveyard. You know Death Shadow Tarmogoyfs or um, Traverse, um, Dredge. Um, and it's even effective against Grishelbrand. Not as effective, but it is um, still effective there. And in terms of Grishelbrand, we have other ways to counter that. You know, we have counter spells. We have collective brutalities. Um, and of course, Burn is always a huge deck. So you need two dispels. You need two collective brutalities. You know, three collective brutalities in the in the seventy five is, I think, the best um, route to go. Uh, and then also, Affinity is also like. It's a tough deck to beat. Just because we have like main deck Colgon's Command, a bunch of cheap removal, it doesn't always make it an easy matchup, especially with cards like Ed's Champion. Um, so we have uh, just this one of Vandalblast. I wanted to find room for a second. I, I couldn't find uh, room for a second. But being able to just destroy all artifacts, um, if you you know slow down the early game and make it to the mid to late game, is really, really powerful. Uh, is it Static Raster also just uh, helps against those go wide decks, uh, against all of our spot removal, basically? Uh, and then Counter Squall just, just kind of helps us against some combo decks. Um, and I also like that it deals damage. Uh, really helps the, the game plan of getting them dead. So that's going to be our sideboard. Um, we're going to run this list through a modern competitive league. I hope you're all excited. I know a lot of you fans um, that first started watching me really liked Grixis Delver. Um, and so I'm bringing it back. Uh, the main question, like I said before, is it going to be better than Death Shadow Grixis? And I'm not sure. So... <laughs> Let's find out. I'm 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 feeling no, but I I hope I will be pleasantly surprised um, from Grixis Delver today. All right. So thanks for tuning in and stay stay tuned for the first round in the modern competitive league. See you soon. All right, everybody. Welcome to the first match here in this modern competitive league. Um. I think we'll go ahead and keep this hand. This is a pretty solid hand. We have turn one removal, turn two counter. We even have a thought scour and a cold guns command for the late game. So I think this is a keeper. And if we were up against burn here, this turn one removal spell is going to be really, really helpful. Yep, goblin guide. Let's see if we can get us a land here. No land. Brutality is a fantastic reveal right there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, play the Dark Six Shores because we don't want to take damage from our uh, mana base right now. Because we're just going to Fatal Push. Alright. Let's get two triggers off of this. Alright. Trigger number one. We get a land. Trigger number two. What was the reveal? Mana Leak. Alright. We'll go ahead and Fatal Push one of them. And so we're feeling pretty good right now, actually. Uh, the question is, do we want to just hold up Mana Leak? Or do we want to try to power out a, a Tasker very soon? Because uh, we could just go Collective Brutality, Kill, Reveal. And that would put us very, very far ahead. Um, of course, that would let our opponent resolve something like a Eidolon. But at that point, I think we're fine with that. And we can go ahead and fetch up Basics here. So drawing this uh, Collective Brutality is fantastic. So we're going to do it with two modes. Uh, we don't need to do the life gain mode right now, honestly. Um, let's just try to keep our cards in our hand right now. We can ditch one of the Mana Leaks. Uh, we don't need both. Oh man, our opponent's hand is loaded. Okay, so... Um... Let's take a look. So... Borostrom does the most damage, and that's, I think, what we're going to go for here. So, Helix, Blaze, Skullcrack, Swift Spear. Uh, yeah. Borostrom is the most, most efficient card there. 
So our opponent's going to go ahead and play their Swift Spear. Unless they drew a land, in which case, you know. It's very po All right, so they drew a land. But they'll go ahead and play the Swift Spear anyways, get a clock out there, which I think is the right right call. All right, Delver is nice, not in the face of Searing Blaze though, so let's play around that. I think what we'll do is K Command, Damage, Discard. Um, basically, I don't want to block Monastery Swift Spear next turn because they can just Searing Blaze the Gurmag Angler, and it's going to be my main clock right now. Um, so I want to be able next turn to hopefully play um, Gurmag Angler plus Mana Leak, which is how we're going to set that up. So while we know our opponent can't trigger Prowess, we'll go ahead and, and try to limit the amount of cards in their hand. And our opponent discarded Searing Blaze, um, which makes sense. It will allow us to deploy Gurmag Angler next turn um, with Mana Leak back up. And while our opponent is low on lands, that's actually going to be very important. They have two spells in hand, currently only six damage. Uh, Lightning Helix will be important if we end up racing. Alright, so Lightning Helix to the face, that's one less card that we know about. Um, Alright, so we don't want to deal damage to ourselves with that Steam Vents. Right now we'll just go ahead and run out Gurmag Angler, keep up Mana Leak. There's an argument to running out the Delver right now, I just, I want to play it safe. Um, also important to note, it's probably Red White Burn, rather than Red Green Burn. Um, I think this is worth mana leaking, just to save us some mana during our next few turns. And now we're just going to try to race. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with Thought Scour. Tassiger is a very good clock, actually. Um, so we can actually do everything we want this turn. Basically deploy all of our clocks. And... Just say, opponent, you better throw some, you know, consecutive burn spells at us here because um, we're just going to apply as, as much pressure as we can at this point. Helix. Okay. Now let's set a stop on our upkeep here in case we want to Thought Scour after the reveal. Uh, Snapcaster Mage, without a graveyard, it's actually a little weak. Did we, did we exile something relevant? Maybe um, we shouldn't have exiled everything. Um... The issue is it doesn't flip Delver. Um, so the question is, is it... I mean... Mm, no, but we'll, we'll draw the card. Because I don't think our opponent... I mean, this is a, this is a one-turn clock here. And I don't think... Uh, actually, I set the stop on the wrong. <laughs> I even set the stop incorrectly. But that's okay. Um, I don't think our opponent can deal us unless they go land... Bolt, Boros Charm. I don't think they can kill us here. And then we're presenting a very, very fast clock. Um, Goblin Guide. We'll say sure. Rift Bolt, okay. Alright, so they don't attack, which is smart. We'll go ahead and just Thought Scour ourselves here. And so let's see, if we run out Snapcaster Mage, that's only gonna that's gonna be seven damage, right? Yeah. So uh that's right, they block Gurmag, that's four, five, seven. Yep. And at this point it's just easy mode. Target ourselves. And as long as we attack with everybody, yep, our opponent sees the line. Alright. Let's take it to game two. Love me some brutalities. Counter squall is great. Dispel is fantastic. Um, so that's basically the, probably the best five cards in the matchup. There's an argument for another Terminate. I don't think we want another Terminate. Um, a lot of our our spells are already very strong here, so making cuts is actually going to be is going to be rather difficult. Um, I like, I do like Mana Leaks. I think they're very good here, as are Spell Snares. They're extremely extremely powerful, and Delver of Secrets is actually very important in providing a clock. Um, so I don't think we can cut any of those cards, to be honest with you guys. Uh, 
I think we can cut Terminates. They're not the most efficient removal. We have Bolt. We have Fatal Push. That's uh, good as it is. I think Counter Squalls are important. You know, Brutality is very important. Snapcaster Mage Brutality is one of the best plays we can make. Uh, Kick Command is a little slow. Uh, I'll go ahead and cut. Uh, it might even be right to cut both. But Kick Command is very, very slow in this matchup. So I think what we'll actually do is we'll cut both Kick Commands. We'll cut a Mana Leak. Um... On the draw, at least. Uh, it's going to be a pretty bad late game draw. Um, and so, I don't want to have too many, you know, too many of those. Um, Fatal Push are just really important. Um, even though, like, it can be bad late game when our opponent doesn't have any more creatures, it's still really important because we need we need to minimize life loss in the early game. Um, but I think, I think with the addition of Dispels and Counter Squalls, um, that's why I think we can, like, cut a Mana Leak there. Um... But yeah, that's it. Let's uh let's run it back. Once again, we are on the draw. Oof. This is a this is a rough keep. And I'm not sure we can keep it. Because yes, we have spell snares and we have delvers. But we also have to shock ourselves. I mean we have Thought Scout, we could have a Tasticer. This could be a really greedy keep. It kinda depends how heavy our opponent's hand is on two drops. Um I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan it though. I think we can do better. Uh, at least we have turn one black mana though. Uh, Counter squall. We're 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 gonna need we're gonna need a little bit better than this, unfortunately. Yep. Goblin guide, of course. We're gonna end up taking a lot of damage from our mana base if we don't hit some more lands here, because we're gonna have to have to have to get a watery grave here if we want to be able to cast any of our spells. So we'll see what our opponent does here first. So no land. Um, I think I'll, I'll go ahead and, and we're taking one extra damage basically. Um, but I think we just have to do it. Because if this goblin guy goes unchecked, you know. If they go land, idle on here, yeah, that's going to be rough for us. But at least we have... An island now. So what we could do is just go fatal push. Yeah, let's let's go again. Um, let's just get it out of the way right now. It, I don't think our opponent's gonna do make any plays before that. So if our opponent has another creature here, a one mana creature, relic. Sure, uh, relic. Pretty interesting, interesting card to bring in here. Um, yeah, it shuts off our Snapcaster, actually, so, I mean, that's not not horrible. But our opponent looks like they're just passing. Uh, we'll run out Delver, try to get a clock out there, because there's no way we can just sit back on counter spells and expect to win this game. Skullcrack? Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, I'd rather not tap out right now. Yeah, Lava Spike gets us, sure. Uh, maybe I should have just taken the one mana counter when I could. Um, let's see what we can get here. Double Secrets, not quite. Um, let's go ahead and attack here. And now we'll just try to deploy another clock, because like I said, sitting back on counter spells is not going to win us this game. Yep, there goes one of our fatal pushes. Bolt, do we take do we take the bait here? Because then we're dead to Boros Charm. So I think we just say okay. Now of course if our opponent goes Lava Spike, Lava Spike, we're going to feel very bad, but... Uh... Yep, there goes our graveyard. Um, but if we hit a third land and flip our delvers, I mean, I know that that's a two-turn play. Oof, man, that's actually really bad for us. It's gonna force us to basically chump here. Spell snare, yeah. Right? I mean, what happens if I don't chump? 
I go to two. Basically, any burn spell kills me. Yeah, I, I have to jump here. Alright, our opponent has one land. Alright, we're drawing spell snare. But now we're not presenting a clock, so what are we doing? We're trading here? Do we try to flash in Snapcaster Mage and block? I don't know. This is this is a very awkward position. I think we were supposed to spell snare earlier. The skull crack. And of course the fact that we're stuck on two lands doesn't doesn't help our case here. Um, unfortunately, I think we, we just have to trade the Goblin Guide here um, and just try to survive until we can maybe see um, some more lands, deploy a Gurmag Angler, maybe a Thought Scour. Um, yeah, we're not, we're not in the greatest position right now, unfortunately, just because we're at four life. Yep. All right, so we get a Mountain. That's a pretty good draw. It's a land. It will allow us to play more spells if we draw them. Okay. What's our opponent going to go for here? Nothing. <sighs> Fetch land. Okay. Um, just go, I mean, sorry, shock land. We'll go ahead and play it tapped like that. Because we only have two blue mana anyways. Like, if this was an island, I might have played it. So I can go snare, snare, dispel. But at this point, like, creatures are... Yeah, we need like a Thought Scour in order to play this threat. Um, Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt is not bad. It kind of insulates us from a top deck creature. Like um, a Goblin Guide. The question is, do we want to get aggressive here? Just go for face. I don't think so. I think we just want to hold back. Mana Leak's not a bad draw, but like we said, we only got two blue mana at the moment. And our opponent's just going to gather like a, a plethora of, you know, cheap burn spells. Rift Ball, Exiled. Ouch. Alright, I, uh, I think I'll go ahead and shoot the bolt now. I'm not sure when we'll have time again to do that. And we can't go Snap Bolt because we're probably dead if we do that. Thought Scour is interesting. I kind of want to do it at end of turn, though. Just to make sure that I won't need anything. Any of my blue mana. Because like I said, three blue mana would have been really nice here. But um, we're currently sitting at Mountain Blood Crypt, which is, which is rough. And honestly, that, that Watery Grave shock in the beginning really hurt us. Which is why, like, Dark Slick Shores is a really, really nice card in the matchup. But now we're at one. Basically, any burn spell kills us. The question is, like, if we don't Thought Scour here, like, are we dead? Like, how long can we keep playing this game? Like, our opponent knows that if we tap out of blue, we're out of double counters. So maybe we just hoped... I mean, now even like a fetch doesn't get us there. So I think we have to go for it now. We're pretty dead soon anyways. And I think this is where our opponent's going to go for it. Which I think is the smart play. Um, I think our opponent has to question, like... Just has to realize. Unless they're sitting on, like, three lands, you know. Yep. Uh, Boros Charm, which we will of course have to Spell Snare, and then another one is going to come in our face. Yep. Alright. Opponent's got us there. Let's see, what would I have drawn if I didn't make that play? Yeah, uh, not much. There was a collective doubt brutality down the road, but that's kind of the card we needed at that point, to be honest. Um, so on the play, I like Mana Leak a little bit better. Um, the question is, what else do we cut? Maybe just cut a Counter Squall. I mean, Counter Squall is not bad. Counter Squall is nice. Counter Squall is nice. Okay, so... Oh, well, we're not cutting a Snapcaster Mage. Uh, let's just cut another Mana Leak. Let's, let's, let's keep it out. We don't need it. Um... 
You know, I was happy to see that relic, but honestly, uh, it ended up just, you know, netting them another card at the end anyway, so it's not like it's, it's not like them bringing in Path to Exile, which is annoying for Tassiger, of course, but we, we have other angles to attack from. So what we really need to see right now is turn one Dark Slick Shores into Threat. Psh, my gosh, if this was a blue mana, I would, I would snap keep this. Unfortunately, as it is, I don't think we can keep it. Oh my gosh, don't do this to us, deck. We played 20 lands for a reason today. <sighs> Alright. We'll go ahead and play the Delta. Proton's going to shock. Play the Goblin Guide, sure. We'll get the attack trigger. We'll get the island. Um, question is, do we get the Blood Crypt now? I think so, because at the end of the day, this creature is going to get in for a lot more damage than it should. Uh, Swamp is not a bad draw. Uh, I'll just go ahead and play Island for Spell Snare, because um, I want to jam this Gurmag Angler as soon as possible. Um, sure. Let's see what they reveal with it. Another land is nice. I think we'll just run out Snapcaster Mage here and block. Save us some damage. Let's keep our life total up. Shock. Lava spike. Yep. So here I'm going to go ahead and just play the steam vents tapped. And pass the turn. Keep up spell snare for something like an Eidolon. Swift Spear, sure. I'll well, go ahead and bolt Swift Spear here. Or suspended a Rift Bolt, so we'll go ahead and Thought Scour ourselves from here. We don't want to see more <laughs> I just said we don't want to see more land. Um, so we're going to want to play the Steam Vents Tapped. Um, Right, so we'll be exiling everything. I think we should exile everything but Bolt and Brutality, because Snap Brutality could be really good in the late game here. Um, so maybe a reason we shouldn't have, you know, Snap blocked. Like maybe we should have just taken the two, because Snapcaster Mage is a very, very important card. I don't think we should bluff anything, so just keep some important cards in our graveyard here. Play a Gurmag Angler. Play Steam Vents tapped. Um, we'll go down to 11. Like, so we're, we're kind of flooding a bit, unfortunately. But like one Snapcaster Mage, and we're right back in it. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get that. Counter Squall is also a pretty good pickup here. It'll just let us race a lot better. Um, and because Kick Command is out of our deck, I'm actually not going to play a land here. I'm just going to bluff some more spells. Sure, Swift Spear is fine. Um, we'll, we'll get the Lava Spike. Sure, go down to 9. Delver, Delver, interesting. I think we attack. Because if we're not attacking, we're not winning. But we play the Delver, we can chump. Of course, if they have something like Searing Blaze here, like, yeah, you can't do anything about it. Searing Blaze, like, land, Searing Blaze, Bolt. Yeah, there's nothing we can do there, obviously. Let's see if our opponent is going to be in Chump Mode. Looks like they're going to Chump Mode. So let's see if we can flip this Delver. Uh, no, we can't. The question is, do we keep up? So they're only on two lands. Um, we, we could be dead here over two turns. That's the issue. Um, unfortunately, like yeah, we seriously flooded out. So we, we, if we attack with both, what happens if we attack with both? 
puts him dead to a lightning bolt. How good is that? Because if they say top deck a goblin guide and then go lightning bolt and like Boris Charm is end of turn, then get a goblin guide and lightning bolt. Goblin Guide, Lightning Bolt, Boris Charm. That's three cards in hand that they could have. Like, I, I can't imagine they didn't play the Goblin Guide last turn or two turns ago. Um, but this is definitely not an easy, easy decision. Because they have to chump here. They have to chump. Unless they have something like Path to Exile. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the safer route. I don't think I don't think there's any major. All right, so we've got to eat the swift spear, and we're just gonna pass the turn now. Sure, Boris Charm end of turn is fine, but this is what we're trying to play around. We're trying to play around lava spike. Goblin Guide style effect here. Um, interesting, our opponent is, is that they going to do this at upkeep? Oh my god, that's so many lands! Jeez. And here, they might have a Deflecting Palm. Do we play around Deflecting Palm? I don't think we we should because they could just be bluffing it or they could have lightning helix too would that be a reason I should have attacked last turn they go up to seven yeah that might have been a reason I should have attacked last turn if they have like lightning helix yep alright they probably have deflecting palm here though but <laughs> Oh man, double strike end of turn. Oh, thank you. Oh, much appreciated. Oh man. Whew. That was close. So I guess they were just flooded on two mana spells and couldn't deploy them fast enough. Oh man. Oh man, that was intense. That was intense. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next round.